Welcome to the Spirit Guide Daily. Hey, when we're in a collective, we all share energy. These are timeless readings that will reach you when they are meant to. Um, so if you're, if you're a big fan of red, boy, is this ever your day. We have the Archetype deck bringing you a card about light and shadow attributes you may be facing. This is the Housewives Tarot, um, and this is the Fortune Cookie cards. One of the things that I've been telling people is this uh, particular Spirit Guide Daily series can also help serve to expand your knowledge around tarot. I had so many co uh, people commenting that they were learning how to read tarot through these. So I'm like, okay, well, I might as well bill it that way. Hey, guys, if you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. Please do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. It helps my channel. And don't forget to look for my new podcast, Logical Magic, Examining Esoterica. Six of Swords in the Upright, leaving a difficult situation behind peace, serenity. It's a card of rescue as well. Now, in an interesting uh, add-on for this, for me, in reverse, coming out with multiple cards about death in combination, that is one of my literal death cards, because in the Rider Waite, the original figure is depicted as being on the river Styx. Two of Swords in the Upright, hmm, choices as well. A lot of sword energy, a lot of mental energy. The Two of Swords in the Upright can be a blocked third eye. Whenever you get this particular card combination. The, this is a card of rest and tranquility, of smooth waters. It can be a card of ghosting, by the way, but I have no reason to believe it is. Uh, do some third eye work. Um, also remember that there are multiple dietary changes that you can make that will help enhance your psychic abilities. I actually do have a podcast episode about that. Um, and then I have the Three of Swords in the Upright, which is a medical situation. Sometimes it is heartbreak as well. Interestingly enough, I'm going to get some more cards on this. Um, the Two of Swords in the Upright can be denial of something. It really is like you've definitively left a heartbreaking situation behind. And like, I think for a while you felt really altered. Like you're like, I'll never be the same person again type of energy. Um, that's a choice. Please remember that. Like after a while, you have to like start opening your heart to other people, understanding that whoever the person or people were that hurt me, that I played my role in it because that's always part of healing. It's not about blame, guys. It's about having better outcomes in the future. We all do it. We all do it. If I talked endlessly about the ways I got in my own way, we'd be here for a while because I was very good at it. But this particular card combination is also saying that there is a possibility that there is a new COVID variant. And I know that COVID restrictions have ended. However, my cards have indicated for a while there's going to be a resurgence around it because of the rollback of all restrictions and that to be a little on your toes around health as well. And this is coming out with, it's coming out in reverse, femme fatale, shadow attributes, inappropriate use, use of sensuality, attachment to money, and power. I'm not super getting that one here. So let's take a fortune card cookie. It is one of the things that, hmm, that you need to be a little bit aware of because this can be something coming towards you as well. There, the energy around this is kind of interesting to me because it's an, a good and a peaceful energy, but it's also this energy of like focusing on the wrong things in life. Like if you've had an unfulfilling per personal experience of late, that doesn't mean that life is supposed to be about work and career and profession. There's a lot of joy to be had in life. One of the best things about getting over heartbreak, by the way, because we do eventually heal from it, it's so all-defining when it's going on. It's just so crushing. But eventually, like, you start to feel like, you know, a, you're, you're the stronger version of yourself again. It recedes into the past. And that's really kind of what I've got here. But here's the thing. I think you doubt other people's motives kind of a lot at this particular point. Please remember that is, like, that's a, do some work on that. Do some work on that. You do not need to be hyper defensive to be safe. And that is something that people who have fully recovered from something have to learn. Um, I'm going to share something that has to do with multiple clients. So if this like, you know, is something that sounds like it's from your life, it, it may have been drawn from it. Um, and it's nothing revealing or telling. But I have multiple clients who in the uh, wake of very, very disastrous relationships, stayed single for a very long time. And then they had somebody who was pursuing them and pursuing them and pursuing them to break down their walls. And eventually they went out with that person and it didn't go all that well. And here is the red flag contained in that. If somebody repeatedly pursues a relationship with you, despite being told, no, I'm not interested, 
they do not have good respect for your boundaries. Like you should be the person who you're still hanging around them as friends going like, hey, can I reconsider? But if somebody is trying to wear down your resistance, that is a giant red flag. Care required. Darn it, this is about health. Guard yourself against deception and be careful about making foolish mistakes at this time. Hey guys, listen, I, this, I'm not trying to be political. Like, I, honest to goodness, this has nothing to do with what you do or do not feel about vaccines. But this is a very clear warning on please be careful around high transmission rates of COVID because this is the COVID card. And why is it? If you check the celestial deck, it is literally marked with the word Corona. And that's when I, and it's also the card for health matters. Care required and health. And then there's this thing with the inappropriate use of sexuality and sensuality. Just be, be careful. It really does look like the other message in this is you're blocking out your choices because you're being like you're, you want to leave your past behind so much that you won't make any choices that could risk you being hurt. And here's the thing to hear. If you've made decisions that like, hey, I'm not in that place, that's fine. Honest to goodness. When I said that something trying to wear down your resistance to the divine will never do that. But what you do need to understand, it is an active choice that you are participating in if you don't allow new connections. Now, if you don't want to be on a dating app, you don't need to be on a dating app. Honest to goodness, if the universe is trying to teach you lessons, you don't need to go out of your way to spur them on. But mostly this is, please take extra care with your health for about the next three weeks. Um, just be aware of it, like plenty hand washing, that type of thing. Why? I'm, I'm not sure. I think this one, this particular variant is spreading just a little bit differently. Anyway, everyone, please take good care of yourself. If you want to book me for a private reading, there's a link to my website in the description box down below. That was the please be cautious energy around uh, this particular draw, which is apparently like my cards just felt like saying, hey, relax, but don't relax so much that you're like, you know, sharing drinks with strangers or something. Because <laughs> there's a little bit of a care required around a health matter. And then also, if you want to have a bigger and a brighter experience, consider allowing more in. Take care. Be well. See you next time.